Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Kinemit, and uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, not gonna lie, I haven't really had too much desire to record too much. Too much? Did I say that too much? Um, but I'm gonna try this new game, Airport CEO. It's, it's uh, pretty short, I would say, but the developers, I believe there's only like two guys updating it. I may be wrong, um, but they're doing a pretty good job with it, and I like sim games. I haven't played that many in a while. Um, huge fan of like some of the like, Sim City games and other Sim type games and City Skylines and other stuff. So I figured I'd try this. Uh, it's pretty detailed. Um, probably my first airport game. Um, so let's uh, jump right into it. So the sound. The music goes a little bit loud. I'm hoping my voice is over. I've tested the recording a little bit. Um, this ticker thing, as cool as it is, <laughs> uh, is pretty uh, pretty loud too. So turn my. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna start with the airport. We're gonna be a guy hairstyle. Yeah, just changes it from left to right. That's good. Um, uh, dark brown hair, dark brown eyes. Can't put a goatee, look like me, suit. Yeah. Um. No. That's fine. And I'll do the kind of a gaming. Because that's my channel. So it's pretty detailed. You can whoa, zoom right in here. Pick tons of places all over. I am from Florida, so let's find a spot over here. Now, I. There's a lot of places. I don't know if this really matters, location really matters, but I'm in the North Florida area, so I'm gonna go. Let's be right on the coast. Let's. Right in this area. And no, that's not where I live. Um, airport name, Kitama International. There we go. Easy. Yep. So, I've played this a couple times, so I have um, a good understanding kind of what's going on. This is kind of... So, it's not really going to be too much of a first look. It's going to be... Uh, <laughs> jump right into it. Um, this does a pretty good overlay. You help get this back by F1. If you um, lose it, need something else. But basically, you start out like this. You have an area to get packages and an area for your construction. Now, if you're doing tons of building, uh, you do have vans pull up here, drop off materials. It can interfere with your passengers and stuff. So I try to keep this a little bit separate. Um, but first thing we want to do, come in here, we need some constructor uh, <laughs> constructors um, contractors to do some construction so across the top you have our money let's pause it so we don't waste in time we have a game menu notifications operational yeah generic you can read all of those we have mail we do get spam which is kind of funny um, you know in weather right now we don't have a weather module so we can't really get weather and you do have these uh, GA uh, flights. So um, we'll get more into that a little bit later. Probably not this video. This is basically a start video. So the first thing you want to do is you need to look at your contract. Now we actually have two here. Usually I have one. So max deployable fee per contractor is $8 and four or 8.4. And then we have 60 of them. This one. 8.460 is that the one I read oh they're both the same so we have to sign one of them regardless now these are your panels you have your overall dashboard this is for weather of course we'll get there settings airport knows passengers people are unhappy uh, we have our mailbox and then you have additional tabs across the top too so general statement why is my inbox not loading? But trash, save mail, inbox. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, welcome to your airport. Very cool. So contracts, we basically, we already 
except the one for the contractor. We're not going to take out any loans. Budget, it's all going to be zero. We haven't spent anything. And the procurement, um, we'll get to once we get a director. And what else do we got here? Budget, loan, employees. So employees is pretty crucial. Now uh, you have your staff that you have hired. Right now we don't have anyone. We need shifts. Now, I don't know. It starts getting up there when you do higher shifts. I do. I usually bump up everybody to the six hour. And I usually do this now so don't forget it later. Six hour. I don't know <laughs> if there's a difference between working, but I have found out that if you don't have enough people, um, you can have gaps in some of your shifts. So if, especially if you were some of those that only had like one hour shifts. Um, the board, we will want to get the higher these. We can do a CFO, CIO, COO, HR, the procurement, and the, uh, yeah, strategy director. So this is the guys that we can hire. We have different payment or different wages. Uh, some of them seem pretty cheap. I've actually had some that were like point, like zero point something. Like, hey, uh, you, I'm going to pay you to work here. I like that place so much. Uh, so I don't know how they come up with these salary numbers, but it's been kind of funny. GPA, you can see kind of what they're in. Handle stress. Yeah, it kind of tells you if you highlight over it. Um, yeah, how they prevent over time, lengthy shifts, etc. So with me going with six-hour shifts, I probably want to look at people with a little bit higher stress. Uh, indicates how they'll perform at their job. Um, pleasant, yeah. So you can kind of read through these. It, basically, <laughs> you want to try to max them all out. So you can reject or hire. Uh, but let's go ahead. We signed that contractor deal. Um Shifts we've already talked about. Com committees, that's your staff. Yep. So operations. And then we can kind of go go down from there. So this some of these things will will upgrade or open eventually. Um, always accept these uh, GA flights. We'll want to assign that here. Uh, I'll talk about the uh, a little bit later. Job tasks, if this was different things going on, if people were actually working which are not, and construction. So the first thing we want to do is we need to get some instructor, constructors in, can, ah, <laughs> contractors in here, construction, uh, yeah. We need to get some con contractors in here and we just hit the deploy all button. You can hold down control. It. This game does a very good job of, of actually telling you how to play. So, um, which is, Kind of cool. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. We should see a bus here once I unpause it. And we want to start building stuff. Now, the nice thing about this, and the reason why I said it does a very good job, is manuals. Jump right in here. It gives you a manual for basically running your entire airport, with everything that's in the game. Now, uh, I'm sure they're going to add more, but there's already quite a bit to it. Um, scheduling and other stuff and you know, some different managing things but first thing we need to do is sign a construction company we did that and it tells you right here about going in here and deploying all so once we get this open the panel done sign a contractor done deploy the crew done and we should see yeah they come right on time so let's go ahead and start building I like building this first. Uh, let's get rid of that. Ooh, what did I do there? Oh. Did I hit... Yeah, I hit Q. Q and E rotates the screen. Um, let's go ahead and let's build this. Is that far enough away? 15 by 15. Starting out. Maybe a little bit too much. But we'll do it. So that, that's going to do that. We'll see some other things kind of come in here. Uh, roads. Bus stops. I like going ahead and putting these things in for too, too much. And. Let's. 
get three of these drop offs. Let's plan for a big. Um, now you can highlight, hold down, or hold over this, and you can see asphalt, concrete. I actually like the look of the concrete. The asphalt's basically like this road here. It's the default. I'm going to just do the asphalt. Now the reason why I am putting it here, drop down from this, is see how these things are backing up? So if this was backed up like this right now, and there was another road coming out here, your um, people wouldn't be able to get into your little park or into your, your airport. <laughs> I don't know why I said park. Um, so yeah, so we'll keep that clear. And let's go ahead. I may just take out some of the sidewalk. Now it does tell you, um, actually, where's it? it? Tells you in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that only people can walk on the sidewalk. Yeah person walking restrictions so your personnel and stuff can go pretty much anywhere uh, the, the um, construction workers they can do, go any zone doesn't matter they can walk across the grass as you see them doing building that's all fine but people only go into certain areas so no one tries to sneak into this this airport I guess uh, so you can see we some people, are, some buses and cars are coming up here. They're waiting for all of this to, to come open. We can speed this up. So, as you see, they start flying through all these resources. Getting all this stuff set up. Very cool. Now, we are going to need a door. So, let's set up a door. Actually, we'll set up a couple of doors. We'll make it parallel with the crosswalk. And oh, there are a few. So... I do want to go ahead and build a wall because I do know need a pretty big area out here for something a lot later in the game. Probably not that big. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it just in case. Uh, yeah. So. We probably didn't need it this big, but we'll plan and let's go ahead and get, we are going to need it eventually. So let's get infrastructure checkpoint. Now the checkpoints, it, it has on the roads. You can kind of see it needs two regular roads and two service roads. So the service roads, what's kind of goes behind the gate, uh, this up here, we can use asphalt or concrete. I want to do everything actually out of asphalt, even though I like, kind of like the concrete. Actually, no, let's do concrete because I will do the uh, taxiways all in asphalt. Okay, so this will, we don't need necessarily. So if we go through this, not that, go through the manual again, you'll see we've completed this, we've completed the terminal. Public transfer, this is basically putting the car drop offs in the bus. Now, if you're doing this on easy with the two million, uh, you can build a lot of this up to where you start getting flights and not have to really worry too much. Um, you know, you can you can put multiple things. If you're playing this on a little bit harder difficulty, you probably don't want to put all these different stops in here. You know, it just costs money. It will kind of be a little bit hard to come by. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, Let's do some flooring. Let's we're gonna make this kind of our check-in area. So we can do this. We can go into items. Let's put in actually let's put some info desk. Don't need it. But we can put right here in front of the doors. So when you first walk in. <laughs> you have an obstacle to walk. Actually, we don't need that many. So, yeah. One's fine. We'll put up some of these uh, um, airport screens kind of on the other sides of it. So you can hit R to rotate and I'll put that and we'll put it behind the desk. 
So right now, let's slow this down because it looks like they've pretty much built everything. Um, we do want to get a door because it looks like somebody's trapped. Uh, where's the doors? There we go. And this will kind of be a uh, maintenance into this area. So we should have everything, walking restrictions, we have all of that between the bus stops, doing the sidewalks. Zoning restrictions is next, and this is where we need to kind of get into our secure zones, our check-in points, all that good stuff. So we've got our check-in desk. Now, do you want the stuff, or the conveyor belts face to the back? We'll give enough room there for us to do some belts. Um, can I put something? Yeah. So we're going to put three across here, mainly for looks. They don't always get manned at the same time, uh, which is good. We'll plants. We'll get some larger plants and some small ones on the ends, just for a little decoration. It's not needed. So now we got all that, and we'll have line queuing down here out of the way. Now, I like putting like sofas, stuff around it, because you will see when we start getting people, uh, they'll get, um, you know, uh, tired, they'll be hungry, or we'll get some shops and stuff eventually, but not in this episode. <laughs> so now we need to, uh, got this as our check-in, we need to do a security. Now for, for that, we need to make a secure area. And I'm going to have the secure area go all the way um, that should be a fine we'll clear out some of this but you got to do a secure area even though it is all in the open and then you can kind of place in security checkpoints as you can see it needs to be my border must be on a secure area and it is so we can do the secure stuff. This is going to have a long line queuing. Um, why not? We can put it there. And let's do a small one for employees. We'll make them. Uh, <laughs> nah, we'll put it right beside it. And then finally, an area to leave. So. This will have walls. Not that it's needed, but I like the look of it. Just like that. And while we're here, let's, uh, where's, uh, can we get this in the middle? Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. And we'll use double doors. Oh uh, no, we'll use single. A little bit large bathrooms, but this way we put some bathrooms in the uh, um kind of the unsecured area, and then we'll put like another set back in the secured area. So as you can see, we're we're just about a hundred thousand. This. We can actually speed things up a little bit to get this made. Uh, floor, let's do this a different color just because I don't like the gray. And we'll change that up. Ooh, that's a little, it's a little too bright. Um, how about this one? Yeah, that's better. So this area, we can try to do something. How's this? Little, little bright. <laughs> so there will be some other areas and stuff over here. We got that. Um, for zoning, so I know I've been sitting here building a terminal. Are those doors? Um, I 
Wow. Uh, did I not? I guess I didn't rotate those. Ah, yeah. Okay. So these guys will stand around and do nothing. So the next thing was zoning. So we need to get this area zoned. We got it secured. And we need to do line queuing. Very important. So it's pretty easy. Click on it. Want to build your queue. And then you can kind of just click. And I think once you get done, you can just right click on it. And I'll go the same way with all of them. Okay. To get the line queuing set up, it's pretty easy to go back and redo this stuff after you're done. So now this is good. Once we get some staff, uh, get some uh, uh, airport staff, they'll man these uh, in their shifts. So we will want to take this. And we want to make this employees only. So let's go ahead and disable passengers from going through this. And we want to make this passengers only going through this one. Same thing, since this is employees only, I'm not going to put a line queue. Um, they'll, they'll still kind of line up out here. But this one, build queue, and we'll make this pretty long queue. Yeah, they'll have to kind of squeeze back here to go to the bathroom I guess and we have that set up you know we can do little things put little plants different stuff at the area but that should have finished the zone restriction so and the line queuing I actually did that and that is all for the first part of our construction manual it's a pretty easy um, you can kind of do some tweaks like I said this is spaced out quite a bit these areas will be filled in eventually uh, we will finish up the bathroom and we do need to start making some money so next episode I will definitely kind of get into the next part of the planner which is um, not that where is it planners down here I don't know what I'm clicking on the aircrafts and airlines do some things around that so that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know I'm, uh, I'm loving the game so far. It's, a, it's a quite a lot of fun, and it can be kind of challenging. I can't wait to try it on something other than, than easy, though. Um, but if you have any questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment. And this has been Kinema, and I'll talk to you later.